All right, so I got my new Timney trigger today. And I must say it is quite a sharp little unit, very precisely manufactured. Stunning orange anodizing. So we're gonna take a look at what it takes to slap one of these in and what it's gonna look like. First of all, after about 50 to 100 rounds to the range, I don't know if you can see the little callus on my finger. I'll be glad to be done with that. So we press out the pin, take out the old assembly keeping the pin and the screw which holds the sear. Just put those aside and this lovely precisely manufactured Timney unit sits oh, right on top of this. And screws down the existing screw. Now I got that a little bit loose, I'm going to set this trigger pin back in the hole. You'll have to have the safety rearward for that to seat in. And they actually have a set screw to hold that guy in. I used to break it down before, if I turned it over that thing would fall out. All right. Now we have a sear there. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, go ahead and slap on the lower receiver, trigger guard. Check that for fitting. One of the things I noticed though is now you're you're using a bedding post, you're going to need to notch it. Let's zoom in on this. So you can see the clearance and the trigger actuator is here. It's very precise and minimal. So not going to clear that bedding pillar unless we notch it down. And that'll be done later. Go ahead and tighten these down. These are not stock posts. It's courtesy of Rock Solid Industries, along with the bedding pillars and the scope mount. Receiver screw. It needs a little oil. I'm just snug that up. Again, you can see there the clearance on that rear bolt is minimal, but plenty. With that in place. Bolt in. Ah, safety. One of the great features about that unit, particularly like. I'll show a decock procedure here. See that? It's three pound factory pole right there. Take it back. Cock it. Again. There's your trigger pole. All right, Timmy Cock, and fire. We'll do a bolt rattle test. Make sure that this thing is uh, solid there. Let's see. Best we get is the decock. And that's from gravity and dropping the uh, bolt back in there. 
anyway. So while the uh, Timney Trigger comes with a great set of installation instructions, there aren't any operating instructions, and uh, well, it shouldn't be too much of a mystery if the, this safety mechanism is a little noteworthy. So with the bolt in the decock position, your safety is not going to engage. But once you cock the bolt, then you can engage your safety. That's a trigger lock safety. And if you try to remove the bolt with the safety engaged, you're not going to be able to release your trigger, of course. So, you need to disengage that safety. Bolt. So, there you have it in the installation. Very solid, sexy unit. And uh, has a wonderful trigger pull, very precise. I'm just going to get rid of that callus on I mean, my finger from that 9-pound mill-serve pole. So, I highly recommend you go pick one of these up.